Uh, hey everyone, it's Matt, the resale champ, back again with another haul video. And if you watched the last one, you know that I told you I was going to be doing a haul video of some vinyl and laser discs that I got from a lady where I bought a huge DVD uh, haul, you know, from off of Facebook Marketplace. So if you haven't already, go back and watch uh, last week's video. It's about a huge over 3,500 DVDs that I bought for reselling on Amazon. I bought off of Facebook Marketplace, total over $1,000 into these DVDs, but I've already made my money back and I am well on my way to hopefully a huge profit off of that DVD haul. Well, it turns out the, the guy was a huge collector and he also, in addition to DVDs, collected all kinds of things, but it included vinyl uh, albums and he had laser discs. So I thought it would be cool to kind of go through a lot of these are sealed, which is why I bought them. I got over 100 here uh, and most of them are sealed. So I thought I'd go through some of them on today's haul video and kind of look them up. I haven't even looked at them yet. I have no idea what the value is, but they, I got $60 into it. So I'm into these around 60 cents a piece. So I thought we'd take a look at them and kind of see. I thought some of the stuff was kind of cool. Some of it did not look interesting at all. I just grabbed it because it was sealed. So I thought we'd kind of do some research while we're at it and see uh, what we have. So let's take a look. Let's start with some laser discs. Laser disc, if you don't know, were the go-between in technology after VHS, before DVD. So between VHS and DVD, there was a year or two of laser discs. They had laser disc players, and the technology was not good enough yet to fit all of the information needed for a movie onto a small disc. So they did a large disc, like a vinyl album. So they look like vinyl, but they're really uh, movies. And they're the coolest thing ever because it's a lot of big artwork and they weren't around a long time, so obviously they're not being produced today. Now, they are going to be slow sellers because you have to have a Laserdisc player to play them. Only collectors are going to be buying these. So they're going to take time to sell. And I think a lot of them, I've, I've looked them up in the past, and they're really high rankings on Amazon. So I probably, a lot of these might end up on eBay. So I thought we'd take a look and see. Like I said, I haven't looked any of these up. But I had a couple James Bond ones here. So here is GoldenEye 007. So you can see it looks like, sorry about the reflection there, but it looks like a vinyl. Okay, this is actually a movie. It is GoldenEye. And uh, you can see on here it does say digital sound, uh, Dolby surround, TH THX. Uh, this is the actual movie chock full of spectacular stunts it says up here and it does have it's got the barcode and look at all the graphics and artwork and as you can see this is sealed still has a price tag on it from when the guy bought it i guess it was originally 31.49 they got on clearance for 12.99 all sealed so let's take a look and see. I mean, it's James Bond. I mean, these weren't obscure movies, so it might be something people would currently want. Uh, so let's take a look. 0276165544468. Let's see if it's, if it's even on Amazon. And it is. It's pulling up on Amazon. Uh, there is a listing for it. Let's make this bigger. Uh, there is a listing. I don't see a, there is a, d d d no sales rank. And uh, new, there's some uh, FBM for 3358. Uh, I'm not going to look up all of these so you can get a feel for, you know, I just want to see if they're selling at all. So I'm going to look at the Keepa chart on these to see if there's been any sales on Amazon. There's your keep, as you can see, it's a flat line. There's no, there's no sales data at all. 
there are used ones. There so there are some for sale. They're just not selling. There are some used ones from five ninety five. And I thought, let's go back. Uh, let's look at three months. No sales that we can see. A new price is thirty bucks. Uh, yeah. So in the last year, there's been two sales right here and right here. We don't know if the used sold or a new sold. And if we go past a year, you can see there's been a handful of sales here, but not many. So, you know, looks like I'm right in that, you know, used, I mean, they were selling for like 10 bucks. They're definitely not worth a lot. I definitely wouldn't pick it up used if you found one, unless it's just something you wanted for yourself. Uh, but with this being sealed, and it's got some, there's a little opening right here. So there's some condition issue here. It looks like I would want to put this on eBay. Oops. I just accidentally closed my eBay tab. Uh, so let's look on eBay. And, you know, uh, okay. So there are a bunch for sale. There's 10 for sale based on just the UPC. I didn't even type in, you know, the name. So um, one new, nine used. Let's see what the new one's selling for. Uh, come on, show me the new, a hundred bucks. Okay, it's not gonna sell for a hundred bucks. You can, there, you can get it used or new on Amazon for 33. And let's look at solds. There's probably no solds, yeah. So no sold at all. So, I mean, doesn't take up a lot of space. I'll probably list this on both Amazon and eBay, uh, but I will not FBA. I'll send it, I'll list it as uh, Merchant Fulfilled on Amazon. I'll keep it here and do a dual listing, Amazon and eBay, probably in that $30 range. And, you know, maybe in a, I'll sell one or so in a year. Let's see what else. I think it's just kind of cool to see what the movies I got. Here's another James Bond. This one is Casino Royale. Look at that artwork. Isn't that cool? Casino Royale is too much for one James Bond. Were there two James Bonds in that movie? I don't know. But you can see there's the back. It's still in the plastic. As you can see, you're getting a reflection off of it. Uh, says laser disc right here, right here at the top. It says laser disc. Uh, this one was twelve ninety nine that they the guy paid for. Yeah, I should have asked if they had a laser disc player. I didn't even think about it, but I bet she has a laser disc player. I can still message the lady, but I don't know that I'd want to drive an hour for a laser disc player. Uh, all right. So, like I said, I'm not going to look all these up, but this one I'm guessing is going to be similar to what we found. No sold on eBay. Uh, let's look it up on Amazon. Again, you wouldn't want to uh, prime this because it doesn't sell. It is, there is a listing for it. There's one for sale at $14 used. Uh, it does have a rank, 5 million, which is not obviously any good. And let's see if, if it sold at all. Well, what I like about the Keepa, Keepa extension will tell you if it's ever sold. It's a terrible listing, terrible picture uh, to do. So this one at least shows the sales rank. And let's see, nothing. One sale, two sales maybe in the last year. And that's it over the course of the listing. So again, I wouldn't look for these necessarily to resell. I'm just, I like movies and I thought these were kind of cool because they were new and sealed and they're James Bond. So like I said, I'm not gonna look all these up. I'll just show you. So here's a preview. This is not uh, new. Adam, the Adams family. Again, I didn't, I couldn't look these up, but here, since this is open, I want to show you the actual disc. That might be cool. So if you're watching this, just to check out laser disc. So here's what it looks like in the folder. Comes out.
And here it is, just a big silver disc in plastic. There you are. There's a side one and a side two. So yes, halfway through the movie, you have to <laughs> flip it over and play side two. I wonder why these didn't uh, stay around long. Well, I mean, once you can get the amount of data, I mean, the, obviously the quality on these was way better than VHS and DVDs didn't exist at the time. So this was the way to go. Again, this is probably worthless. Just thought it was kind of cool. Uh, that's an album. I'm just gonna go through. Uh, is this an album or a movie? This is a movie. Check this out. Oh! Walt Disney's masterpiece, Fantasia. 1488, brand new and still in the package. How cool is that? Somebody's gonna buy this. I'm gonna look up Fantasia. I want to look up Fantasia. That's gotta be worth something. 17951132063. I might've mistyped a number there. Oh, there it is. Well, Again, no rank. There's new ones listed for 25. Not what I thought. I thought this thing would be 50 bucks, maybe 100 for Walt Disney Fantasia, but not so much. Uh, no set, no souls in the last month, of course, three months, a year. I tell you what, it's just not. Actually, there's no souls on this. Uh, let's try. Let's try on uh, eBay. Oh, there's actually solds on eBay. New other, $9.99, $3.49 used, $5 new other, $1.99. So they're selling, as you can see, there's no there's no money in these, uh, unfortunately. I just thought it was cool. There's one that's 19. Again, I'm gonna list this. I'll probably put it up for like 50 bucks. Uh, new because there's no I don't think there's any current listed uh, Let me come off of the solds and see if there's any listed right now uh, 20 bucks pre-owned here's one. Oh. oh That is 1950 factory sealed. So whatever. There's one 915 see <laughs> brand new $915 people think ah, these got to be worth a lot of money. But anyway Those will get listed on uh, I'll put them on eBay and Amazon Try to get 20, 30 bucks for them. Again, they'll sit here um, and take forever to sell. I just thought they were kind of cool because I used I used to have a laser disc player. I used to watch these on on laser disc movies. Here is Bram Stoker's Dracula on laser disc. Brand new. Uh, again, I told you I wasn't going to look these up, but. I'm in a horror group on Facebook and they just mentioned how they would love, uh, people love Bram Stoker's Dracula. So I'm wondering if any, if this is popular. Nope, it's not even on Amazon. But this is new and sealed as well. Here is a Creep Show 2. This is used. Previously viewed, somebody paid six ninety nine for it. Um, I love this movie. I'm a horror fan, so that's why I bought. I got this one. Again, horror fan. Tales from the Crypt. Uh, this one. Arnold Schwarzenegger, True Lies. This is new and sealed. Now it's coming open at the top, but it is still new and sealed. Twelve ninety nine. Again, I'll try to get twenty bucks. Ah, uh, check this out. Terminator Two, Judgment Day, Schwarzenegger. Man, I'm sorry about the lighting in here. It's terrible. Terminator Two, Judgment Day, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Eh, let's see if that one has any value. Zero one three zero two three. 
I guess this is going to be a very niche item. It does have some sales rank, 30 bucks new, but again, probably going to, you know, it sells once or twice in a year, if that. Oh, not just Terminator 2, but Terminator 1, the Terminator, new and sealed and packaged. So again, I would never pick these up used. I will actually, if I were you, I wouldn't even pick them up new. Um, unless you just kind of want them for yourself. I don't mind these because they're cool, you know, laser discs. Again, they're small, though. They won't take up much space. Uh, I'm guessing Terminator. I mean, I wonder if I, you know, I might try to lot these Terminator 1 and 2 and put it on eBay. Let me check it's Terminator. Uh, Terminator. Oh. Terminator recently sold. It's got a sales rank of 188,000. So let's just look at that one just so we can see here. Uh, three U's from 28 bucks. So there's not even, there's no new currently available. It looks like it's sold right here. So it's sold in the last month, which is why the rank is where it is. Here's a sale right here, which put it at 23,000 in the last three months. No new at all. So maybe I'll put this up for uh, 50 bucks new. There's been in the last, it's had a couple sales in the last three months or in the last year, it sold a couple times. So might try to get like 50 bucks out of that one. Anyway, there's no currently new available. Um, Pink Panther strikes again. New and sealed, laser disc, deluxe letterbox edition. Yeah, you know, the other thing I could do is try to sell this as a lot, but I'll tell you, these things aren't light. So shipping is almost like shipping a book, not quite. Um, now, this is interesting. Here's a uh, the color purple. Um, actually, this is vinyl, special deluxe purple vinyl. I'll come back to that. That's vinyl. I thought that was a movie. Um, here is a Swiss Family Robinson laser video disc. Obviously, it's a Buckbuster rental, probably worthless. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So, I mean, for the most part, these are decent movies that this, you know, the guy had. Unfortunately, Laserdisc, you know, it's $9.99 on clearance, new and sealed. Again, I'm going to try to get 20 to 30 bucks, put them on Amazon and eBay as a uh, merchant fulfilled and just ship them out of my house when they sell. I will probably ship them in a vinyl uh, shipping thing, which I don't have any of, so I'm going to have to get some. Uh, here is... This is a rental, I think. This is not new. It is not new. It is Marilyn. Gentlemen prefer blondes. It's probably worthless. I don't know. But it is Marilyn Monroe. Uh, Phantom of the Paradise, new and sealed. Disney's One Magic Christmas laser disc. Another Disney movie. I thought Fantasia would be worth a lot. It's not. Again, I don't want to bore you with looking all these up right now. Um, I Love Lucy's Greatest Hits, Babaloo Music. This is a laser disc. I can't imagine this is worth anything. But you never know. I'll look them up and. Great listings. Here's Phil Collins Buster. You know, that's got to be a huge one, right? No. I can't imagine this actually has a, uh, a punch hole through it. Uh, the Nutcracker on Laserdisc, new and sealed. Tumbelina, previously viewed.
And last but not least, another previously viewed, this is uh, on a clear day, you can see forever. And looks like that, I think that's Barbara Streisand. These used ones are probably worthless. Um, the used ones, I will probably, where did I put? Oh. I didn't put the Adams family back in its plastic. Um, the use ones I might put as a lot on um, eBay because I can't imagine, you know, trying to sell that for like nine ninety nine or something ridiculous like that. Well, this is not, you know and then trying to mess with the shipping and everything. And then of course it could get damaged. All right, so I think, oh, I think that's all my laser disc. Yeah. All right, so that's all the laser discs. Again, not something obviously, as you can see, I wouldn't go out looking for those as like sourcing the items. You probably will come across them, just know what they are, that they're not vinyl albums or movies, and that, you know, if you want a quick return, don't buy them. And you better get them for pennies, and, you know, and it's going to take forever to sell. And just, you know, you probably won't find a lot of new and sealed ones anyway. Definitely don't get anything that's not new and sealed. So let's look up a couple albums. Um, I'm not going to show you, like I said, I've got over 75 albums. I'm not going to show them all to you uh, for time. But I did kind of want to look at a couple that were unique that stood out to me. Let's start with this. We Are the World. Anybody remember this? We Are the World, New and Sealed. Now, this was a huge hit, obviously. Got Chicago, Good for Nothing, Huey Lewis and the News, Trouble in Paradise, Steve Perry, If Only for the Moment Girl, The Pointer Sisters, Prince and the Revolution, For the Tears in Your Eyes, Kenny Rogers, Bruce Stringstein, and the E Street Brand, Tina Turner, Total Control, Northern Lights, and then USA for Africa, We Are the World. Pretty cool, huh? So if you're alive back in the 80s, you'll remember this was a big uh, thing to fight AIDS. And this is still in the plastic. So I do want to look a couple of these albums up because the albums, they should sell. They should be some money. Uh, so let me pull this back on the screen. This has a barcode. So let's see if it pulls up with the barcode. Let's see if I typed it right. 074 uh, okay, that's not pulling up, so let's do, we are the world vinyl, and there it is, right there, rank unavailable and everything else, here's another one, this is it, right here, this would be the listing to use, 115,000 in CDs and vinyl. There's 58 of them available for sale, but I bet you very few, if any, are new. Used, $25, four new from $60. Uh, so yeah, 63.97 is the starting price, no FBA Prime, I don't know. I mean, I've sold um, albums Prime before. I would probably send this in Prime so I don't have to deal with it. And there you go. Easily uh, on this one album, it will pay for that entire lot, right? So I'm going to sell this easily, you know, probably list it Prime for $74.99 and just see. This will easily pay for the entire lot. We are the world sealed and new. Awesome. All right. So I picked up, here's a couple. I've got some uh, Chicago albums. Uh, here is, I don't know which number this is. Chicago numbered a lot of their albums. Uh, here's a Chicago album. Here's this one actually says it's Chicago 16. 
There we go, Chicago here. Let me get this off the screen. All right, so we got Chicago 16. We got this Chicago. These are all new. Um, Chicago 18. Featuring the hits, new hit single, 25 or 6 to 4. I don't even remember that song. Niagara Falls Forever, If She Would Have Been Faithful. That one I know. If she would have been faithful. I won't do a concert. Now, a lot of these, um, I forget what the term is, but they're they're notched or cut. So I think these were like demos that they sent. Um, I forget the terminology for that. They'll still sell. Uh, the We Are the World is not. Um, the Chicago 16 is not. I forget the term again. Like I said, I'm not a huge uh, music seller. But I got these three Chicago albums. I'm not going to look them all up, but... Um, Chicago was a band I liked back when I was a teenager, so I thought those were cool, so I grabbed them. Now, I thought this was cool, because here is Star Trek II, new and sealed, Star Trek III, new and sealed, and Star Trek IV, <laughs> new and sealed. These are the soundtracks. Now, I don't have any idea if these are um, sought after. Again, this one's cut here. Uh, I'm sure they all are. Uh, yep, three is, and so these are all notched. I have to look that up and see, but I'll list that on. On um, and these are going to be probably slower sellers. And I thought one thing I could do is maybe list this as a bundle on eBay. Thought that was cool. Uh, now this one I had in the stack with the laser disc because it is a movie, the color purple, but this is um, special deluxe edition, purple vinyl, two record set and 20 page booklet. So I thought that was pretty neat. New and sealed with the notch. So let's look this up and just see if this is worth anything. Okay, da, 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 da. 075-992-53561. I think it's like, there's probably supposed to be a zero at the end of that. Let's try it. Oh, I don't think I was typing anything. There we go. Nope. Okay, so this one might be harder to find. Uh, music produced by Quincy Jones for Quincy Jones. So this might be something good. So I'm going to put, now the problem is I'm going to find a lot of stuff that I probably don't want because it's going to be, there's going to be movies for this that are going to show up. Color purple, we'll put a uh, vinyl deluxe edition and see what shows up here. Paul's Boutique. Uh, let's see, I told you I'd get to get a lot of stuff that I did not want. So, uh, that's gonna be a pain to try to find, try to find this album. Let's try it doing an Amazon search. I really wish the barcode would pull it up. Color purple, let's do soundtrack, vinyl. See if we can find it that way. Oh, there it is. So boom. So here's a listing right here for a hundred bucks. Um, and I'm guessing that's not new. Here's a listing right here, 103. I can't see rank on any of these, but it looks like it's a hundred bucks on Amazon. Uh, let's see if I can pull this up on Inventory Lab, because it should show me ranks. Yeah. So yeah, so this one has 158,000 ranks, so this would be the one I'd send it in under. So let's look at this listing real quick. Uh, 
All right. So right now, that is that right now that is new. Ninety nine ninety nine. There's a sold right there. A use use is fifty bucks. New, currently a hundred. So this is money. So so far the two I've looked up, we are the world and the the color purple. Of course, I have to disclose that it's got the notch, but potentially a hundred dollar album right there. So all the Chicago albums. Um, uh, today here is Bernard Herman. <laughs> um, the composer. This is the composer conducts music from. Where did I see this? Uh, This has movie uh, composed music for the movies uh, Psycho, North by Northwest, Vertigo. So Richard Hor uh, Herman music, new and sealed. Okay, so I've got this whole box of albums. Again, I'm not gonna pull all these out and look them all up, but I thought I would look through these and pull out some ones that I thought, you know, might be worth looking up. And here is the Beatles album. So this is Sgt. Pepper Lonely Hearts Club Band. It is not new and sealed, but it was the Beatles, so I grabbed it. And if you look on the back, it actually has a $65, a $65 sticker on it. Again, I haven't looked any of these up, so I have no idea. This opens up, which is kind of cool. I'm guessing those are the Beatles. I wasn't a Beatles fan, but I know they're, some of their stuff's money. And this stuff is in all, it's in excellent condition, newer sealed. I mean, look at the condition this is in. So it's got the, uh, it's got the insert here. And then here's the album still in the sleeve. This album, I mean, I'm not seeing any major scratches or grooves in it. It is Lonely Hearts Span. Uh, it is the right album. So I bought albums before, and they've been in really rough condition. These are in nice condition. Like I said, when you're buying from a collector, you know, usually you're going to be pretty good with what the quality is going to be. So obviously, I want to look this one up. No barcode, obviously, because it's older than that. I don't know what year this is. I'm guessing in the 60s. 1967. All right. So let's look this up. I know some of you that know music are probably screaming at what this is. You know, like, oh, that's a whatever album. I have no idea. I just know the Beatles, and I've heard of this album. Uh, Beatles, Lonely Hearts, I'm, I don't know how to search this, Lonely Hearts, Vinyl, ah, I got a K in there. Oh, it still pulled it up. Oh, look at this. Now, this is obviously Vinyl, let me show you this. So Vinyl has come back in a big way, so it's real popular right now. And so a lot of these albums are being remade or reproduced. So there's here's one that's got a 70 rank, <laughs> but it's a 2017 re, re release, re release. Uh, so let's see if I can find the one that uh, now I don't know because if, if it's been re released. Yeah, I've got it. I'm on a list it obviously under the one that is the old one. Uh, 50th anniversary new stereo mix. I don't know. LP picture disc. Now, here's one. This might be it. There's 25 offers on this. Let me pull this one up and see what it says. Yeah, I think this is it. So it's 
So it's forty two ninety nine. Let me just log into this so it stops. All right. Forty two ninety nine. This looks like the original one. There's no sales rank showing on here, but this is the one. So uh, new at sixty, used from nine ninety five. Okay. So nothing too terribly exciting there. This one obviously is going to, it's not, you know, used acceptable condition, which is what this 995 one is. And it's obviously real low. And then it goes up to 23. Mine's going to be very good. So it's going to be a 30. And I'm going to send this in. I'll probably send this in. Um, I'm going to send it in FBA. So I'm going to send it in. It's probably $49.99. So that's will be another $50 album. So right there, what do I have? Like two $50 albums, a $100 album. Doing pretty good. Now here's Julio Iglesias. I can't imagine, but it's new and sealed. Um, the biggest musical, words and music sealed. Now here's a... When I've sold in the past, this is Grease, a great, great um, soundtrack. Uh, this is not new. This was a double, I believe it's a double album. Yeah, two record set. Again, the condition on these are incredible. It's got the original sleeves in it with the artwork. And the one I had in the past didn't have that. You know, I'm guessing the the records, yeah, mint condition, no scratches. Well, I say mint. Very good condition. I know you rate albums like BG Plus and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. One goes, one goes in one side, one goes in the other. If I had to guess, I'm guessing this is like, 20 bucks maybe. I could be completely wrong. Grease, vinyl, two records set. Let's see if it just pulls up anything. There it is right there, no rank. Eh, 40 bucks used. So again, this will go in for forty dollars on Amazon. Uh, we got it's a Julio Iglesias. Here, let me get let me get rid of this. Oh, sorry. All right, Julio Iglesias, the world's biggest musical, new and sealed. Rocky Two contains Eye of the Tiger. Rocky II album. This is an album. Eye of the Tiger. I mean, come on, that's a classic. Who doesn't love that? Brand new and sealed. I'm not gonna look. You know, again, I don't have time to look all these up. But Rocky II, that could be something with Eye of the Tiger. Dino. No idea. Yeah, some of these might be worthless. Barry Manilow too. Heard of Barry Manilow? I don't know if his stuff go. There's another Julio Iglesias, new and sealed. Thing of, like about most of these with it being new and sealed, I don't have to do anything. Uh, just put it in under the, li the existing listing. Robert Goulet, um, vinyl will sell. Just might take some time. Uh, here's a Genesis. I, this is not new and sealed, but it's got tonight, tonight, tonight. Love that song. I love Genesis, so I got this. I don't even have a vinyl player. But this honestly makes me want to get a vinyl player just so I can play some of this vinyl. Um, Seattle, Perry Como, New and Sealed, no idea what that is. Here is a movie. Somebody know the movie called The Wiz? Here's the soundtrack for The Wiz. Uh, produced by uh, Quincy Jones, a Quincy Jones. Somebody paid 99 cents for this. I don't know if um, soundtracks might not be worth anything. I don't know. The Wiz 
soundtrack vinyl. Uh, this is thick, so it's probably like, it doesn't say it's a two disc set, but it's a thicker, so they're, oh, there it is. Wow, look at that, 26,000 rank, 16 offers. This thing sells quick. Oh my God, $85, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's very uh, climatic there, uh, anti-climatic, because you can't see. $85 is the buy box price on this new, and it is selling quick. $85. Was not expecting that, but I guess because it's Quincy Jones. $85 new. I'm glad I grabbed this. Uh, Diane, Diane Warwick. I don't know if that's worth anything, but that's new and sealed. Barry Dion, I guess it's Dion, I don't know. Here's another new and sealed Dion, another Dion Warwick. Got a bunch of these. May not, oh, sorry. I said it may not be worth anything. I was just grabbing sealed albums because I was getting them. I didn't know what I was going to get them for. I ended up paying 60 cents. The Many Faces of Sammy Davis Jr. And you can see it's a 59 cent album. <laughs> it says right there. I don't know, Sammy Davis, that might be worth something. Perry Como live on tour, new and sealed. Uh, Phantom of the Opera, new and sealed. Uh, I don't know, let's look it up. It's got a barcode. Uh, let's see if it shows up anything here. So I think I'm gonna do okay on this vinyl haul. Forty-five thousand rank, so it's got a rank. It's selling. Are there any new ones uh, for sale? Use fifty-seven dollars. No new ones for sale. Use fifty-seven dollars. Uh, let's let's see what the last new one. The last new one was listed for two hundred twenty-five dollars. Let me make this bigger so you can see it. The last new one right here, you can see $225. Oh, hallelujah. All right, well, glad I grabbed this, the Phantom of the Opera. Um, this has some condition. I mean, it's got a little cracking right here in the, in the um, seal. 225 bucks. I think we're gonna be okay on that. Slide that over there. Let's see, and we'll put the whiz over there. Uh, I'm guessing John Denver, new and sealed, may not be worth anything. Barry Manilow, new and sealed, I don't know. Here's another Barry Manilow. Um, this I thought was pretty cool. Remember, I'm a horror fan. Alvin Schwartz, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, read by George S. Irvin. Music composed by Blaine and De Rosa, and they just released a movie, "Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark," based on. I guess that was a book based on this book. For this, uh, this was from 1986. I bet you this will sell. If not, I mean, it's kind of cool the artwork on it. But I would think I want to look this up just because of my own curiosities. Um, might be hard to find because there's movies and books and everything on this. There's no barcode on this. Uh, I'll try it real quick. Uh, vinyl. There probably won't even be a listing for this. Yeah, I mean, it's, I got Funko Pops. I've got paperback, Blu-ray. I don't know. Anyway. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend the time looking that up right now. Barry Manilow one, lots of Barry Manilow. So hey, hit me up. I mean, if some of these like John Denver's and Barry Manilow's or any of these are interesting to you and you want them, hit me up if you view this in time. Um the new ones are I mean, they're probably gonna go into Amazon. So if I can sell them to you cheaper, I'll be glad to do so. 
The Wizard of Oz on Radio, starring Judy Garland. Uh, let's see. The Wizard of Oz on Radio. This is the complete, unedited Lux Radio Theater broadcast, December 25th, 1950, on the CBS Radio Network. That's kind of cool, Wizard of Oz. Uh, original soundtrack, With, with Nail and I. New and sealed. Hmm. Muppets Take Manhattan soundtrack. That may not be worth anything. I don't know. We got the Oak Ridge Boys. Again, new and sealed. Andrew Lloyd Webber, Requiem. New and sealed. Huh, let's look up Requiem. That sounds familiar. Might be worth something. It's got a barcode on it. But again, that doesn't mean anything. I can't pull up. These barcodes don't pull up. Uh, contains the hit single Pi Jesu. I don't know. I think that's a movie, Requiem. So it may not pull up. I don't see it. At least the ones I have here. Anyway, oh, whatever. I'm not going to spend the time looking it up right now. Uh, here's uh, Domingo Miles, a great operatic duet. Here's Greatest Artist at the Met, Placido Domingo. No idea if that's worth anything. Uh, Leo Iglesias. Perry Como. Al Hurt, no idea who that is. Mingus Dynasty, and I didn't look any of these up. The Lonely Something. Uh, piano Music of Robert Roger Williams. This is a this is a duel. Roger Williams only for lovers. So this is a dual set, which is interesting. Uh, Charlie Daniels band, me and the boys. Big hand hits. Volume one. Another Chicago album. I think that's the same one. I mean, I already, I've got two of those now. Uh, Frank Sinatra, Hello Young Lovers. No idea. Again, I don't have time to look all these up. Frank Sinatra. Another Frank Sinatra. My Best Songs, My Best Years. George Beverly Shea. Uh, James Taylor. Julio Iglesias. So lots of Julio Iglesias for those who are... Julio Iglesias fans. I still got like 20 or 30 more of these. <laughs> ah, come on. Denver, da, 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 da. All right. So I just wanted to see if I could find any more of these that might be. Jerry Como and Simon Davis. That might be good to look up. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to keep all these kind of semi organized. Uh, Johnny Mathis Feelings. Carpenters, a kind of. Uh, Carpenters, Sinatra, she shot me down. Can't imagine anybody shooting Sinatra down. Pat Boone, song maker. Um, 
Stevie Wonder, Journey Through the Secret Life of Plants. I thought this looked interesting. Um, that's new and still. There's a Stevie Wonder looking back. This looks like it's been rewrapped, maybe. Here's excerpts. This is not new and sealed. Excerpts from Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh, herb, Alf something, whatever. Don't care. Genesis, Invisible Touch. This is not new and sealed, but I got it because I like Genesis. Another Herb Albert. Whatever. I'm kind of curious if this Stevie Wonders. Um... I'm gonna look up Stevie Wonder. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to keep this under an hour. Where am I at? 50 minutes. Stevie Wonder's journey through the secret life of plants. This sounds really obscure. And there it is, 59,000, it's, it's got a rank. Uh, let's take a look and see. Uh, new 25 bucks, okay. So $25 album, I will take it. What about now uh, Stevie Wonder looking back? This, um, it's kind of open. Like I said, it looks like it's been rewrapped, like shrink wrapped, and it's kind of open here at the top. So I really wouldn't be able to sell this as new, even though it's kind of sealed on the ends. So I think it is. But just for grins, let's uh, let's look it up and see. Uh, Stevie. Oh, you know what? Oh, I did put vinyl. I just want to make sure that was vinyl. Two uh, LP. Yeah. Looking back, make sure that's it. Um, no rank on that one. This one has a rank here, 164,000, which obviously is not great, but 50 bucks, 49. Um, and uh, that is new. So I would say somewhere between 25 and 50 bucks probably for that. All right. Uh, here's one I thought was cool. I got this mostly because I like uh, Manheim Steamroller. Uh, I like their music. This is Saving the Wildlife. This is open. So. I'm guessing, I mean, some of these open ones are probably going to go for anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. Um, even like a lot of these new ones are probably be in that price range. So I think I'm going to do pretty well on this, on this lot. Um, I'll probably do a follow-up video where everything's been priced and see what the potential profit is on them. 40, I thought this was kind of cool. 40 greatest college football marches. Still, so it's got Syracuse, Notre Dame, Harvard. Yale, Duke, Michigan, the Victors. So it's got all these. So I thought some college football fan would really like that. Uh, here's more Barry Manilow. Oh, Julie. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, the modern Bing Cross, I guess that's Bing Crosby. Thoroughly modern Bing, new and sealed. Uh, Jim Horn, I'm guessing he's a jazz guy, new and sealed. George Benson, while the city sleeps, I don't know, new and sealed. Ah, come on. Again, you know, some of you might like know who these people are. George Benson, White Rabbit, this looks interesting. Some of these may be money, I just have no idea. Debbie Reynolds, Reynolds, the singing nun. Ah, uh, Daryl Hall, Hall and Oates, new and sealed. Uh, Sergio Mendez, confetti. Historia Dello, music rock, I don't know. Stevie Wonder, Motown Legends. 
Oh, I like this one. John Williams Symphonic Suites of Music from E.T., the Extraterrestrial, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and Star Wars. 100% Virgin Vinyl Premium Pressing, Special Price, London Symph Symphony Orchestra, National Harmonic Orchestra. So what this has on it is, is it has on side one E.T., the London Symphony Orchestra presents a symphonic suite of John Williams' E.T. music. From Star Wars, the National Phil Philharmonic Orchestra plays John Williams' Star Wars Suite and Princess Leia's theme. And E.T. returns with the London Symph Symphony Orchestra. Side two, Star Wars continues. Um, National Philharmonic Orchestra, The Battle Part One, Starship Attack, The Battle Part Two, The Throne Room and End Titles, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, with National Philharmonic Orchestra and Chorale. The experience begins in Close Encounter Symphonic Suite. I mean, these are classic themes from John Williams. And finally, Farewell from E.T. and the London Symphonic Orchestra. I'm gonna look this up. This is new and sealed. Now it has a barcode. This is probably the last one I look up because we are about out of time. I'm gonna try the barcode, but I doubt it'll work. Maybe I try it without the z the leading zero. I doubt it. Uh, John Williams. Symphonic Suites. I would think this would be going for something. I don't see it. I'm looking. Right, let me show you. This is so hard to search by album title like that. Oh, well, again, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll do a follow up of this and let you know, you know, find out. I think this has to be worth something. If not, I would want to keep it. It's kind of cool because I want it. Buddy Rich, big band, don't care. Uh, 30 Greatest triumph Trumpets of All Time, don't care. Now, this is cool. Here is Jaws 3D. <laughs> uh, new and sealed, but the, the seal, the, the plastic's coming off on it, and it's got like three hole punches in it. Composed and conducted by Alan Parker. No idea if that's worth anything. I just thought it was cool. The artwork on it, Jaws 3D. Uh, finishing up here, here's the last. We got three or four left. Then to Ronstadt, can't even pronounce that. Seals and Cross sing the song from the original motion picture soundtrack, One on One, The Story of a Winner. Never heard of it. Here's the, another Stevie Wonder. This one says anthology. It's got like three. This is not new and sealed, obviously. It's got like a three a fold out. It's got a, a, I don't want to ruin it here. One says looking back. The other one said looking back, just says anthology. I kind of want to look that up now. John Klenner, Brasilia. Father something, Guido Serducci, um, the Beatles Concerto. Weird. I'm going to look up the Beatles Concerto. Well, there it is. It's there. There's no rank, so it doesn't look like it really sells. Uh, you can buy it autographed. Yeah, not too exciting, I'm guessing here. Eight ninety nine used. So, well, whatever. Again, probably a ten or fifteen dollar album. Let me look up this. Um, I'll look up this Stevie Wonder anthology because the. 
the Stevie Wonder looking back, which is similar, did pretty well, right? This is obviously not new, but it's in excellent condition. Uh, I don't even see it. That's weird. I don't know what's up with that. Stevie Wonder Anthology. All right, well, anyway. So there you go. So that's all of them, about 75 to 80 albums. We looked up several of them, 50 to $100. I think I did okay on that $60 buy. Even if those laser discs are pretty much pointless or probably sell once or twice in a year, I thought they were kind of cool. And I will do a follow up in the near future of uh, the what how how they do you know what the total haul value is and what you know what the values are on them. I appreciate you sticking with me through this hour long haul video. Uh, keep your eye out for sealed vinyl and regular vinyl in good condition can do pretty well. And I will appreciate it if you subscribe, if you have not already, to see more um, how-to and haul videos coming up in the future. Like and comment below. I would much appreciate it. And I thank you very much for sticking with me and look for more haul videos and more um, how-to videos coming up in the future. Thanks a lot, and I will talk to you next time.